When we were commentating on the, the semi-final stage, we did note that when he came off Wayne Otto for the first time in the evening, did seem tired. Do you think this might have a bearing on this final? Uh, we will see. It could do, I think, a lot with Wayne, and this is mentally, but he looks up for it now. I haven't seen him lose a final. So there you have it. Leon Walters in the red, Wayne Otto in the blue. Look, out and that should have been a point to Wayne straight away there with the Geckos. But as I thought, Leon comes straight out at him. Leon watched him and thought, is he looking tired? And that's a lucky Wayne. He's just. But as you said, they haven't wasted any time getting nope, to know each they other. Haven't. I see it will either be uh, just testing each other out, or if it's someone, I knew it would be Leon that would start it off, and that's a point to. Wayne Otto, Wayne in the blue and Leon in the red. As soon as they came out there, you saw that look on, on Wayne's eyes and you said he's back, he's fired up. He's back, he's fired up. The eyes are there. But I've never seen him lose a final individual. Chico's looking to give the point and it's given. As they came down those steps, though, Tiki, they were given like a pop star reception, people standing up, mobbing them on the back. They deserve it. They deserve it. Just got to keep your head up there, Wayne. He's dropping his head a little bit. And Leon's going to come out with them kicks. And we said it before, but, I mean, hats off to Joe Long. I mean, he's continued to innovate, and he's really tried his best to get karate on the television map, and he's done it again here, hasn't he? Another point to Wayne Otto. And Joe has done a fabulous job. The atmosphere out there is electric. Big. Everything to fight for here. These two men probably two minutes away from £10,000. The richest prize in British karate history. £10,000 or nothing. So there's a, a lot there, isn't there? Especially as for these two men, it's been a long haul to this final. Some great competitors they've had to be on the way. And yet one of them is still going to go home with nothing. With nothing. Who's the winner and who's the best loser? That looked to Leon's punch there, but Wayne's got inside it. And another one to Wayne. That's 4-0 at the moment. Just keeping it simple. Tension on the people. Just keep your head up. Leon's got to go for a big one. And if it stays this way, the legend just grows ticky, doesn't he? It does. That looks another point to Wayne, was it? Yeah. Leon, for the first time there, his head went down. He looked just a bit dejected as he looked at the referee. And a point that looked like another punch to Wayne. The judge is saying it went past. Referee is giving it to Leon. Wayne's punch went past. Wayne blowing heavily again. 5 now, 1. Though. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Must be so hot then. He keeps catching him with that little sweep. And again, that should have been a point. That should have been a point. I think that's what the referee is indicating as well, Tiki. He was looking at his judges. He's and yes, it. you're right. He's yeah. giving it. 6 1. Leon's got to pull something out big. But he's, he's fighting Wayne's fight. He's just trading with him with punches. And, uh, and Leon's very good, but he's not going to beat the maestro with that. The only chance that Leon's got getting in this is to go up with a head kick. There's time running out for Leon here. Wayne. He's trying to pull him out there, but... And he's well ahead, isn't he? He's, he's just got to, and I mean, if anyone's going to keep his cool under pressure, it's going to be Wayne Otto. It's going to be Wayne, 6-1. He's looking tired. Oh, what's happened there? Bit of contact there, he stopped. Let's get a breather. That's it, Wayne, breathe. He does look very tired now, doesn't he? Say, it's, it's, so it's not just the actual competition, it's the pressure of what everyone expects him to, to beat everybody in. He's shown them all he's still there, retired for two years. He's come back to beat the best in England.
and he has beat the best in England. Yes, fantastic card that Joe Long put together. A great mix all across the ages, associations, federations. It looks a point to Leon then, but it was a whistle. It's over, and Wayne is the derby. Wayne's the derby, and he's still got it. Without trying to sound too biased, though, when you look at history and the first ever 10K challenge, it almost seems fitting that it's Wayne Otto, doesn't it? Yeah, Tiki? yeah, it does. He deserves it. <laughs> look at him. Uh, and it's just a shame that Parati wasn't in the Commonwealths and the Olympics because that's the one thing Wayne would have loved was an Olympic medal. Well, and he's certainly let his emotions go away with him here, Tiki. Wayne Otto, OBE. <laughs> Very emotional, Wayne Otto, Tiki, but I mean, as we come to the end here, your thoughts, the first ever 10K challenge. I mean, it's been a great event, hasn't it? I hope it's the first of many more. And, uh, you know, I think the best man won it. And as well, we've got the opportunity to say a big thanks, really, to OTN Outdoor Television Network for making this happen, for Joe Long for having the vision. I mean, between these two sets of people, 10k karate wards in a pure uproar um they've never been so excited have they sorry uh, uh, yeah with dave <laughs> Courtney now he's showing about the 10,000. the karate world because of this event has never been so excited has it no. i really think this could create place karate on the map and to be honest what better man to do it that's right and it, it shows it's a good television sport you know people can soon pick up the rules and it, it's exciting and it's great no. And the proof's in the pudding. You've still got a full house there at the end of the evening to watch this final. They were mobbed as they came down, and as you said, quite rightly so. And Wayne Otto, just another landmark in what's been a career of landmarks.